Okay, so appraisal <laughs> standards have changed in the last month. Um, and a lot of the escrows are suffering because of it. And banks are sending out appraisers many times from out, outside areas that mm -hmm. don't really know that market. A lot of times they're uh, comparing a home that's, you know, a, a very nice home to a distress sale that is maybe a home that is not cared for. So that is a big problem. The other thing in the luxury home market, the sellers tend to be, and I would say probably across the country, a little more stubborn, a little more proud about the, the established area that they're living in, and a little more reluctant mm -hmm. to reduce their price. Mm -hmm. And so they're sitting, sitting. However, some sellers are getting it and they're becoming smarter and they actually price their home mm -hmm. at the market value or a little bit under their competition. And I am telling you, they're selling. They Con are selling those properties. I, I, There's multiple offers even in those areas Congressman, also. What Connie's talking about, the trouble with the appraisals, that's government. That's the Home Valuation Code of Conduct, is it not, that came out of New York State and Attorney General Cuomo? Uh, yes, and uh, actually it, it could get even worse. Um, the, uh, the cap and tax bill that was passed recently had a whole bunch of instructions for appraisers uh, about relative to the green aspects of a house. So. I'd love to tell you that I think things might be getting better in that regard, but they're, uh, but they're not. Let, let, let me make one other just general comment on what we're talking about here, because you, you see this a lot in residential real estate, as we've been discussing, also in commercial, which I know we're going to transition to here at some point, where the buyers want a deal. Buyers say, hey, I read all about the economy's bad, mm -hmm. prices are down, I want a screaming deal. But yet the sellers aren't ready to go to that screaming deal quite yet, and so you've got this gap. And in the foreclosures, they're moving because obviously they've got to go at whatever they can get. But a traditional seller, both in residential and in commercial, if they want to lower their price, the thing goes away. But if they don't, and, and I don't know, I guess I might ask some of the rest of the panel, um, do you see that gap starting to narrow? I, I think it's starting to a little bit. I think some sellers are getting...